Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing a problem that is pairwise swap elements in a linked list. Okay, so kind of the problem statement is very self-explanatory. Like the problem name itself is very self-explanatory. So we can directly move forward with the whole idea where I would just tell you. So here in this question, you are given the value one and then it is two and then it is two and then it is four then it is five then six and then seven then it is eight now it is told that we need to swap this value okay swap these values in pairs and that would make it one two one then four two then six five then eight then seven so this would be the solution itself talking about okay this was an even input so okay so that you found out that they need to be swept in pairs so what what is the scenario when we have odd numbers so in this when the scenario is in odd like let's say something like this one two three four and five then this would be swapped and this would be swapped and this would remain as it is okay so your query is cleared when it is odd when it is even you understood what you need to do then let us understand here the very first scenario what we can do is we can simply swap the data not the nodes okay but this won't work. Why? Because the problem setters have already said in this that you need to swap the nodes, not only the data. If only data is swapped, then driver would print minus one. In the backend, they have implemented something. So we need to do the hard work now. If this was not mentioned, we could have just swapped the data and would it would have been worked like a beauty. And it is not working. I have verified it. Now we really need to move forward with this. Okay, so if the data can't be swapped, then the connections need to be swapped. Why? Because if you observe a value of, let's say, a value of 1, then 2, then 3, and then 4 is given. Okay, so now if I want to swap up this value, okay, and I want to swap up this value, so what I really need to do is I let's say if I just swap the connection of this, okay, so I am not getting the next. So if the connection is swapped to the next, like let's say once next was early two, earlier two. Now once next is so one two needs to be modified to something like two one okay and four three needs to be modified like four three so now we need to modify the nodes itself we need to swap the values of the nodes. So in reality, what we need to do is, if you observe that, let's say this is one, two, three, four. Let's talk about this. So you need to do what? You need to break this chain. Okay, you need to break this. You need to come over here. You need to be the head. And then this node, Okay, this node would now come here. Okay, and this once next. Okay, so after coming here, so let's say this we did it, like let's say one has came here and two has came here. So now what is the thing that we need to do? We need to remove this. And now we need to make a point to three and two would become the head now leave this case 
let's see the same scenario for when it is not the first two numbers like let's say when we have two three four five six let's say now we need to swap three four to swap three four we first need to remove this then make four point okay make two point two four make two point two four and make three point two five and we need to break this one also and we need to break this one so if you observe two should now point to four and three should point to the five value then this would be reversed so if it is that scenario then two would point to four and four would point to what four would point to three so four is now pointing to three and three would point to five so see four and three is now swapped so now this is the step that we need to do what are the things we need to do we need to remove three linkages and we let's say this value is something like this is previous this is a this is b and this is c so what we really need to do is first we need to make previous point to b so i would write previous should point to b previous next is equals to b this is the very first step we need to do the next step is a should point to something like c a should point to c so this is done this is done now b should point to a so 3 so we need to rem we need to maintain previous a b c and then we need to do these three modification for swapping two values so for swapping two values we need to do these three med modification if it is the head then we just need to do this would be the previous this would be previous this would be a this would be b and this would be c so if a is equals to head then b would be equal to a and we just need to swap this head explicitly so when a is equals to a value of head then we need to handle this case explicitly else this is how you would be doing it no more talking just let us do the same thing in the form of programming and that would solve the purpose okay so now let's start the implementation so we would lay down previous a b c and a would be the main one where we would be proceeding so we would lay down something known as node star node star node star a is equals to the pointer head and then pointer b comma pointer c this is done and node star previous is equals to none okay none it is setting here something like this previous is equals to null a b c initially so we have not laid down b and c we would see how it is we have only laid down previous and a okay now we would keep doing whenever a and a's next is present so we would do it while a and what is next is not equal to null now yes we have layer yes yes we have laid down previous and a but not b and c b is nothing but a is next so i would say b is equals to a is next and c is what b is next so c is equals to b dash next good enough now i would say 
this is the first if a is equals to head then b would simply become the head like there if there are two nodes we can simply say yes this is the head so if a is equals to equals to head then i would say head is now equals to b like report b and we would talk about it else we have this what is else condition we have this condition as the else condition okay else we would have this now we would say previous next should be equal to b i wrote it down so i would write previous next is equals to b did it then b's next should be equal to a so i would write b's next equal to a b's next is now equal to a then a's next should be equal to c yes a's next is equal to a's next is equals to c then this is done this is done now after this is done now everything is in the same place now we just need to rearrange the previous and a because we are finding out b and c from previous and a but we need we are laying down previous and a so now the nodes are swapped for the next swapping we need to prepare because so how we can really do it so i would say now again previous would become this and a would become this that is we would move forward we would move forward a previous would become a and a would be equal to c so i would say previous is equals to a and a would become the value c that is this is jumping here we are moving two times this is done at the end whenever this is done before returning we would return the value of the head okay now let us just compile it and see how many errors are we making good enough we got a runtime error okay so i just forgot to add a uh, end of this so end of the else statement or else we can just simply remove this because there is only one else and that should solve the purpose and we need to remove from here now we just hit compile and run yep So yes, we were able to solve this problem. So the time complexity is linear, that is big O of n, because we are just swapping it. So I hope that whenever, so intuition is whenever you see a swapping link problem in a link list, I would suggest you that kindly lay down the link list and see and swap which all connections need to be broken down, which all connections need to be made and that would solve the purpose. So that's it for today. Thank you and have a nice day.